do is come and trim a few of these guys and see what we got. So, oh, it was, it's good to get my hands on a power saw. In fact, I think I want to do it some more. Um, gosh, that was fun. Um, so, swing this a little bit. Um, I think this angle, right off the bat, I think this angle is going to have to change some. It's just a little too fat. Um, and I didn't really thin the handle down very much. Uh, I tell you what, this green pin oak is not, it's definitely not Douglas fir. We're fairly sharp. And I mean, this is just, uh, just some tests, testing. I think we definitely have to get, um, um, but let's see what we got. You know, I found that a thinner handle, I can be more accurate with a thinner handle. I'm not sure why, but. Well. We're, this is, this process is uh, going to be interesting because, like I have said, I'm going to try different handles. And this so far, this X is the one that's three quarters of an inch forward. And then the last one I'm going to try, it's literally like a quarter back to the edge, quarter back to the edge of the pole. So... This is just sort of a taste of what's what's coming down the road. Um, you know, I'm not going to start grinding on anything yet. Um, we're going to put this through its paces and put handles on the other ones and just see where we go. Oh, that split. She split. There we go. I can tell you though, uh, a big thick handle is not, I don't like the big thick handles. They just, uh, unless there's a reason to have one. Let's see, we can get out here. Maybe. Oh, I'd stand up. I should probably be on more level ground. Oh yeah, that was just nothing. Man, I tell you what, pin oak stinks. She stinks. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Well, I am really, really liking that. Really, really liking it. Getting back to the thick handle scenario uh, and just looking for that, uh, that feel, you know, um, when your ax strikes a piece of wood, um, it's uh, what I've been noticing as my hands and my my brain sort of connect and the feel of that impact sort of start connecting um i've sort of realized that the shock wave the thicker the handle the 
more clunkier the handle, the shock wave, it, it, it seems to me like it absorbs more of the shock wave. Um, if you've got a thinner handle, like this one, uh, you know, I'm definitely feeling this in my hands. So I think this, this may be a scenario where we're going to see how thin we can go with it. Um, while I was draw knifing it, um, some checks that I don't think are going to be a problem uh, showed up underneath the grain. There's one there, and uh, there's one here. Come on, freaking focus. Focus, can you see it? Yeah, there we can see it now. Um, but it's not really, it's not through, it's superficial. And uh, I filled it with uh, those um, high-tech super glues with the, um, the accelerator. Um, and I used a, uh, I have a thin, which actually penetrates wood pores. It's almost like a polyurethane. Um, I put that in and then uh, put another coat of that in um, and hit it with the accelerator. And, uh, and then I have some thick, and then at the very end, I just kind of laid some thick on top of it and took a thin piece of wood and smeared it and then hit it with the, uh, the actuator. And um, so far, so good. Those checks haven't gone anywhere. So we'll see how that holds up too. Um, but it just feels good to get out and cut some wood and split some wood. Uh, I haven't had a wood pile in, uh, in a long time. So the only problem is that oak stinks. It smells like poo. And apparently the flies think it smells like poo too because they're all over the place. But uh, anyway, just uh, a sample size of what's going down here. And I hope everybody's doing well and love y'all. See ya.